The government's decision to allow the Japanese to increase their quota of bluefin tuna fishing has attracted criticism from Greenpeace and other environmental groups. With this special report is our correspondent for government reconciliation, Dexter Pinion. Yes, thank you, Peter. Now, frankly, to have what is an issue of trade and economics hampered by a pack of festering fish fondlers <laughs> is like stopping a football game because the ball doesn't like to be kicked. <laughs> the griping Greenpeace grannies have played the endangered species tune on the thump tub and lumped this bluefin tuna in the same category as the black rhinoceros and the mountain gorilla, simply because they all appear on a list collated by the World Conservation Union, also known as the League of Lefty Lunatic Lackeys, <laughs> and they've called it the Red List. Now, I suspect they chose the colour red to symbolise the bleeding hearts of these Mother Nature bosom biters. <laughs> the only endangered species Greenpeace should be worried about is the rapidly disappearing creature called the coherent argument. <laughs> That's right, tree huggers. We're talking about a fish. And while the harping hippies may find the southern bluefin attractive to the point of perversion, if it became extinct, which it might do voluntarily to stop from being cuddled by some overzealous fish kisser, the average man in the street certainly wouldn't part with a rat's ass. And until I read that the head of the international bank is a tuna, or that the World Trade Council meets in the local saltwater fish pond, an economic reality comes first. And just wait till the tuna is fished into oblivion. Then we'll have Japan at our mercy. Dexter Pinion, looking forward to a tuna casserole from the canteen here at the AB Friggin' Sea. <laughs>